Much later, but next up it's going to be Johnny Green against Alex Waimara, the older brother of Edgar Waimara, who we've just recently seen. Johnny Green, a former Queensland Junior Welterweight Champion, and started his career with some promising performances, including a knockout win over Mark Franklin, who we just saw rated there in the Australian Welterweight Division back in February 1995. But if you look at his most recent performances for Johnny Green, well, he's been in against tough opponents, including Karim Nasher, who he lost to in two rounds. And Johnny Green and Alex Weimara, well, there'll be no shortage of action. Let's get a word with our two opponents. Uh, I've been um, uh, sparring uh, 10 rounds. I'm fighting a six-round contest tonight, but I've been sparring up to 10 rounds uh, three times a week. So I've been doing a lot, lot of uh, gym work in the, in, in the boxing gym, yeah. I've trained my guts out, you know, I've done all the hard work. Um, the idea is just to go in and, and do things the way I want to do it, you know, fight hard and, and see how we go. Well, Johnny Green, never shortage on action when he's involved. Here is the tail of the tape, and as you see, Johnny Green coming in at 60.7, so he's down in the lightweight division. 61.95 for Alex Waimara, which is just above the 135 limit in terms of junior light and as you can see the reach advantage significant in favor of Alex Waimara also has an edge in experience as well Alex Waimara is a entertaining performer to say the least and as I mentioned Johnny Green well, he has won state honors so this should be an exciting junior Walter Wade contest 10 stone in the old language 140 pounds super lightweight if you prefer, and of course that's where Costa Zoo campaigns at the moment. Costa Zoo, Australia's only world champion. Anthony Mundine hoping to become Australia's next world champion. And Alex Waimara makes his way to centre ring here, the 33-year-old. Turn pro at 19 years of age, Waimara. And fought Darren Miller, Brian Williams, some very good names early in his career. And since made a comeback starting in April last year. And of course his battle with Wally Roham back in May last year, well that was very entertaining indeed. It was all over the place and resulted in a no contest. And he has had success against Queenslanders in the past, Waimara, putting on Brent Clough and winning the TKO in round number three, but Johnny Green now makes his way to centre ring. He won the Queensland Junior Welterweight title back in November 1999. The fourth round knockout of Paul Simp in Southport, right in the local area here. But, as I mentioned, he picked it up from there, took on some more highly credentialed opponents, including Jim Savage, who took away his title, and then Karim Nasher, who was the current Australian champion. And he lost in two rounds there. So he's not afraid to take on the big names. And I'm sure John Green comes in here thinking that he might just have a little too much for Alex Weimara. But after seeing uh, Benny Dyer's performance, he's probably inspired by that, I would imagine, John. Yes. Queenslanders have come out in force to support Anthony Mundine and boxing here in this state. They always do a tremendous job. Australian National Boxing Federation lead officials including Brad Vicarley who is operating here as a judge and a referee tonight based in Queensland and they certainly have some fine prospects in this neck of the woods most notably Paul Briggs who well he might just be the best talent in the country at the moment yes I tell you what Paul Briggs is a sensational prospect and uh, he really looks a future world title prospect Junior World awaits. It's scheduled for six three-minute rounds Johnny Green against Alex Weimara our third man in the ring is Andy Raymond a state of origin junior welterweight clash. We are scheduled for six three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He too hails from Woolloomooloo in Sydney, New South Wales. At 33 years of age, part of a fighting family. Weighing in at 61.95 kilos. An impressive record that includes 20 wins, two draws and 11 wins via way of knockout. Alex Waimara. Standing across the ring, representing a Queensland, trained by Les Wilson. He too, at 33 years of age, weighing in lighter at 60.7 kilograms. 
Six wins, one draw, two wins via way of knockout on his resume, Jolton Johnny Green. Your third man inside the ring when the bell goes, Mr. Wally Lewis, Brad Vacali, Cyril Cairns and Derek Millen, your ringside judges. Alex, Johnny, you've both been given your instructions in the dressing room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Good luck, shake hands, back to your corners. Wally Lewis in charge here for our junior Walter White clash. Ten stone in the old language, 63 and a half kilos is the limit. Although, as I mentioned, Johnny Green is down in the lightweight ranks here. Right. And Alex Waimara, well, we just saw a very brave display from his Derek. younger brother, Edgar. Derek. So we know the family are very tough indeed. And our judges at ringside, Brad Vicali, Cyril Cairns and Derek Millen. Underway, the junior welterweights, both men in the black trunks. Johnny Green, he's back to us at the moment, has the shaven head. And Alex Waimara is his opponent. Back, step back. Big edge in reach for Alex Waimara. Well, the question is, can he keep Johnny Green at bay and make use of that? That's it. Coming forward with authority. Punch free, punch Showing free. Good speed to his Alex Waimara. Early in the first round. Good work. Well, big raps on Alex Waimara during his early the jab, Alex. period of his career. Retired, but then decided he wanted some more. And here he is, and he's no doubt is very work, well credentialed indeed. Yeah, he has all the skills, Good he's boxing. just got to settle himself down. Sometimes he can get a little bit over anxious in there and you know, it leads him to do things that he really shouldn't do. On, well, he's up, getting off up. first here against Johnny Green and just being able to take the tempo, Barry. Yeah, he's, uh, he's in front at the moment, Alex Weimara, the first round. But Johnny Green's uh, you know, handled himself pretty well. I actually watched John in the gym last year. And his record doesn't show, that, you know, That's like it's it. not a terrific record. He's got quite a few losses on his record, but he can, he, you know, puts them together pretty well. And he's so far in this fir first round, he's moving well, I think. Good work, good work, Alex. Heads up. Scheduled for six three-minute rounds. After our previous two bouts, of course, we're over the shorter journey of two-minute rounds. Stop holding his head back. Both these men's very experienced in terms of fight. He does punches up. Punch free. And Johnny Green started working his way into the fight. The now getting off a little quicker than Alex Waimara. Yeah, Waimara just catching Green as he's backing off with a left hook. Yeah, he's a nice right hand there too from Alex Waimara. Good combination, punch. Yeah, they, they stung Green. Well, I see Johnny's been stopped a few times too, so it's interesting to see what happens if he gets caught with a few more of those light and fast punches from Alex Waimara. Yeah, he's got to keep those gloves up as, uh, as Green as he's going to find himself on the canvas really quick. Waimara appears to have this under control at the moment, looking very composed. Might have another gear. He just looks to me that he's, he's got the edge in speed and power, Barry. Yeah, I think you're right, Troy, and I, I agree with John. I think he's just uh, having a bit of a look at the moment. We might see some more in the next few rounds. Certainly Alex Weimar, a little more compact in defence with his hands up a little higher than Johnny Green. Johnny Green's only going to have success here if he gets right up on top of him, not, not at a distance with the boxer like this. I, I was imagine. just about to say that Barry's got to get in close, he's got to work underneath and let those body shots go. He's got to slow Alex Weimara down and back him up. Concluding stages, round number one here for the junior welterweights. Alex Weimara, that game works to the body. They're looking a little more polished for the two men. End of round number one. Well, Alex Waimara sits down in the blue corner, just gives the impression that he has a little left in the tank. And with that first round under his belt, don't be surprised if he ups the ante here in round number two. Yeah, I think he could be right there, Johnny. He uh, boxed well within himself, I think, in the first round. He's carrying his right hand down a bit, look for that left hook. He look for that left hook when he carries that right hand down, it's on. Okay, but keep your hands nice and tight. Come on, you Trainer Paul Iscrow there, very impressed with Alex Waimara backing up uh, the comments from Troy Waters and Barry Michael that it's his best 
round that he's ever boxed and considering that he turned pro at 19 and has some 30 fights behind him. That's a big rap, Barry. It certainly is, John, but it uh, was a very, very classy first round. Underway, round number two for the junior welterweights. It's scheduled for six three-minute rounds and Alex Wyamara looking three, to lift the Come tempo on, yeah, here yeah. against Johnny Green. Johnny Green with the head okay, shake right. and right, Alex Wyamara. Both in the black trunks, Wyamara with the red trim at the top. Forward. I mean, we were saying earlier that Guamara has that, you know, added little bit of added bit of strength uh, in, in his punching power and speed, but I think he also has the physical strength, though. He, he's, he's able to push his man back when he needs to, and, uh, you know, he can, he, can, he can really position his man where he wants to. Yep, yep. No, he's... Uh He's boxing very, very casually at the moment, uh, Alex Weimar, and I think he—I still, we—I think we all still think he's got that uh, gear he can shift up. Well, at the moment, he really looks like he's in second gear. He's probably got a couple more that he can go up. Yep. He has had a lot of professional experience. He certainly uh, knows his way around a ring, and I, I noticed there's six three-minute rounds, not two-minute rounds. Oh, good right hand from Johnny Green there. Yeah, Green has his you know, most effective part of the round when he's coming forward. He needs to keep that pressure on, backing Alex Wymara up. Yeah, he certainly can't outbox him. Clash of heads there again. Step Wymara back. stepping forward. Johnny Green with that right hand down beneath his chin. You heard the blue corner telling Wymara he was open for the left hook. <laughs> Certainly Alex Wymara doesn't want to be too casual here. <coughs> no, he could get caught. Um, but he is very, certainly very relaxed up there. Maybe a little bit too relaxed, Barry. I mean, sometimes you can get caught, as, uh, as John was saying, by you know, a punch that you don't see. Yep, undoubtedly. There's that left hand, but Johnny Green had the right hand right up around the temple and deflected the punch. Watch those heads, boys. Why not? I think head. What happened there? We've got a carriage of heads. And they're going to let it continue. Referee Molly Lewis waves it on, but Johnny Green now cut. And the forward. Yeah, did a head clash that was... was a slip. And they're in, it's a bad place on the forward because they're a hard, um, they're a hard cut to stop bleeding, Barry. Yeah, and it bleeds straight down in, you know, down the forehead, down in the eyes. Actually, it's a good right hand there from Weimar. I mean, about 10 seconds ago, which shook Johnny Green. I think that, I think it'll be the right hand that might uh, do the damage here. The cut on the head of Johnny Green is right in the middle of his forehead, so the blood is actually coming down into his nose, and there's the target. That's why Mara tags him again. Nice little right hand. Ooh, just missed. Just looking for that counter right hand is uh, Alex Weimara. Waiting for that lazy left hand uh, from Green and topping him with that right hand. He's done it three times in this round already. End of round number two, and Alex Weimara goes back to the blue corner. He has this under control at the moment. And Johnny Green, he had his own moments there in round number two. I think that our judges, Brad Vicali, Cyril Cairns, and Derek Millam, will score not only round two, but also the opening round in favour of Alex Weimara. Clean back, clean back. Clean back, mate. Up and up. Push that towel, Mick. <coughs> a wrench? Yeah, have a wrench. Come here, come here. Wrench, wrench. There you Let's have a look at some of the action from round number two. And Waimara on the right of the screen at the moment, just retreating away from Johnny Green. But there he is tagging him again. That may have been the punch that opened up the cut. Johnny Green with his problems at the moment. It's scheduled for six three-minute rounds. Here comes round number three for the junior welterweights and Alex Weimara. Just trying to back Johnny Green up straight away. Joe yeah, Waters scores the fight 20-18 at the moment for Alex Weimara. Hard to have it any other way. Yeah, I think uh, Alex Weimara's corner might have told him to lift it up a pace. He's certainly come out hard, you know, firing harder this round. And he's certainly scoring with some beautiful, crisp, sharp shots. Nice left and right hands, both landing. Mm -hmm. Johnny Green just hasn't been able to work his way inside and put his head on Waimara's chest to take away that reach advantage. But I think what Green's problem is he just doesn't have the speed or the power back. to worry Alex Waimara. No. 
he's, you know, he's having success with some uppercuts and some good body punches now and then, but just, you know, too few. Waimara just more or less, you know, biding his time, picking him off when he wants to. It's been the story of the fight, right, since the opening bell. Waimara just looking to have a little too much here for John Green. But you won't find too many braver men than Johnny Green. He'll take on anyone. And he's still there coming forward, trying to find a way through. It's certainly not the snap on the punches from Johnny Green that Alex Waimara has. Now, uh, Waimara definitely showing that extra experience that he does carry to the ring. But standing him in good stead. Staying on the outside, he's using that ability that he does have, using the speed and the power to keep John Green at arm's length. Looks very composed doing it too. Watch those heads. Johnny Green trying hard up there. Punch three, come on, Not having punch a lot three, of success. Just like to take this opportunity, uh, guys, to say hello to Ray Wheatley and his uh, fantastic boxing magazine, The World of Boxing. One of the better magazines that you get in this country and, and even the world. Certainly isn't. He's a top man, Ray. Little over 50 seconds remaining here, round number three. Maybe that man just taking a breather. Certainly Johnny Green continues to come forward, but it's been an economy of punches from Alex Weimar, and he got hit with the right hand yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, good caught, chopping right hand. Caught with a beautiful right hand from, uh, from John Green. Nice short chop, and another one from John Green in place. A couple of good shots there from Johnny Green. Arguably his best stage of the fight from Johnny Green here. Alex Weimara caught him with the right hand. Weimara's just gone into his shell a little here. Maybe just getting a little bit too overconfident. Johnny Green now muscles his way okay, inside. Step back. Step back. I mean, that's one place you can definitely never get too um, overconfident, Barry, because it only takes one shot and it's good night. Exactly, Troy. One, you know, one punch, you can be Step win back. every round. One punch just yep. changes it all. End of round number three. And a good battle going here between Alex Waimara and Johnny Green. And, of course, next up, it's going to be a lightweight encounter over six three-minute rounds. Hassim Adam and Adisi Tabebu uh, warming up for their lightweight clash. Yeah, it should be a highly entertaining affair. Looking forward to the lightweights. And then, of course, Colin Wilson against Abel Allow at heavyweight before the emergence of our feature event between Anthony Mundine and Timo Masua. So a lot to look forward to. Jason Adam and Adisi Tabebu are going to be up next. Uh, before that, we need to find a winner here at the junior welterweight level. Alex Waimara sitting down in the moment in the blue corner. Let's see what the instructions are now. You want to win this? Little way. Hands up, please. Come on, you're going well. You're we're trying to rev up Alex Waimara because round number three was Johnny Green's best. On, Second half of this six-rounder well, about to begin. And it's Johnny Green who comes forward with the shaven head. Alex Waimara at the moment leads 30-27 on Troy Waters' card. Yeah, that last round was definitely John Green's best round. But I still don't think he, uh, he scored with enough effective punches to steal the round. He started this round with a couple of good shots, but uh, Alex Waimara has just fired back with a couple of rippers as well. But Johnny Green really is, you know, putting up a good show. When I say step back, I mean step back. Box! No shortage of action when Alex Waimara is involved. Just losing his focus there. Big right hand from Johnny Green. Yeah, beautiful right hand. Nice straight right hand. Catches Alex Waimara on top of the head. Both men now having cuts on the head. Short right hand from Alex Waimara. A scoring punch. John Green's been very effective when he gets in close. He can't box from the outside. As Barry was saying earlier, he needs to close that distance, stay in close and let those shots go. Yeah, he does. And he's, he's having a fair bit of success with that right hand this round, John Green. But he needs to stay there. He needs to get up, get up on top. Neutral corner. Now we have a problem with Alex Waimara's glove. Johnny Green heads off to the neutral corner. Well, this guy will come in and attend to the housekeeping. Molly Lewis keeping a good hold of things here. Alex Weimara's okay. focus Time, just box. wavering here, back underway. This is the fourth round for the junior welterweights. An entertaining affair so far. 
after Waimara on the first two rounds clearly Johnny Green has been starting to make some inroads it still has some work to do those punches up Johnny yeah not beyond the realms of possibilities that uh, John Green can still come home strong in this fight and uh, and take a decision no, it's, it's, it's certainly a possibility. He's, uh, he's lifted his tempo this round, whereas Alex Weimar really hasn't. He's you know, stayed in that, that sort of second gear all the way. Final 50 seconds, round number four. And Johnny Green's accuracy is coming to the fore here. Both men throwing plenty of leather. And Alex Weimar just looking a little fatigued at the moment, breathing heavily. Just about a stage, and it looks like the bounce has gone out of Alex Weimar's legs. He's staying flat footed, just, you know, deep punches when he gets in close. Yourself. It's interesting because I noticed beforehand he was saying that he was sparring 10, 10 rounds in the gym regularly, you know, like maybe he's overdone it. I was just about to say that, Barry. Maybe he's overtrained. He's left, you know, his best work in the gym. Def could be uh, definitely Johnny Green's best round. He is looking a bit. Uh, a bit perturbed actually Alex Weimara when he's under pressure. And minor concern from the blue corner as well for Alex Weimara. They feel as though he's just losing focus, letting this slip away. Johnny Green has been at one tempo right from the word go and maintaining and a good like, work rate. Sorry John, but it looks like Alex Weimara's got a cut over his left eye as well. Oh, another good right hand there from Johnny Green. Punch for it, come on, come. End of round number four and Johnny Green heads back to the red corner. Feeling good about himself. That was his best round by far. And let's give full credit to his trainer, Les Wilson, who's done a terrific job to stem the flow of blood coming from that cut on his forehead, which he suffered back in round number two. It really hasn't been a factor in the fight. Johnny, you can do this. It's a good fight. It's a close fight. It's a real fight. <laughs> You've got to want it. You want it bad enough? <laughs>